So at some point, I, I don't remember exactly when it was, but I think it was actually just, yeah, January, just the beginning of 2013, so a year ago, and I just received my album cover, which you can see right here, and this is a true, real analog painting, like the way that it used to be done back when things were real. And this was uh, this was done by a guy named Joe Petagno, who's a great artist, and he did all the art for Motorhead since 1975, and he did um, he did the original art for Stairway to Heaven, worked with Pink Floyd, so he's definitely an artist that knows what he's doing. And I remember even with that, had to come up with ideas. And this is, it has a concept of a dream, hence the name Live the Dream. It's actually kind of a double meaning, talking about the stage of my life that I feel that I'm in. And also uh, the whole dream concept, which includes a lot of the album titles, a lot of the, a lot of the song titles on the record. And even that was... Um, this was, I actually had to pose in my living room and, and, and do that just to basically um, take some pictures and send it, send them over to, to Joe, the artist, just to basically paint what it was, uh, what, what we captured in a picture. So that was definitely a funny photo shoot, I can tell you that. So this was this was fun and I'm very happy with the end result and this is the art for Live the Dream. I remember it was uh, January 14th and it was time for mastering finally which was very exciting for me. Uh was the end of a of a two-year process of recording. It was so difficult and we we went, we went into so much detail with everything that we recorded with the art which is with with everything and um max norman uh came came with me up to portland maine and we went up to uh gateway mastering where we uh had the pleasure to see the great Bob Ludwig master the record and Bob is uh, arguably the greatest mastering engineer of all times. He's been mastering for over 50 years and he just mastered uh, I, I believe that pretty much every single human being on the planet probably heard something that Bob Ludwig had mastered and this is the guy that all the major record labels go to and for a reason because he's the absolute best and he's pretty much done all the greatest bands in history and for me it was so, such an honor to just go and um, and really see what the greatest guy in the world can do to my music and I'm sure glad I, I went to him and this was again a great day a great memory and yeah, I'm just so happy with the result because production is just so important to me, especially in this style of music. I mean, the the tone and the sound of of a record really makes all the difference in in this style of music. It, it it's rock music. It needs to sound huge. It needs to sound clean and defined, and and it's really tricky to do. A lot of people claim that they can do it, but um, you really need the greatest people to work on on your music and and make it sound huge um you know different styles uh might have a different approach but here um i think it's very necessary to just do it the right way so i'm very happy that bob was nice enough to take on this project and yeah um then it seems like it takes a long time to actually get it out there so this was January 14th to um, yeah January 14th 2014 and the album will finally be released over a year later uh, March 4th 2014 so so yeah this uh, pretty much wraps up the whole record um, so finally you know I can get it out to you it's just uh, I was so uh, 
innocent and I had a lot of wishful thinking back then that I could get the album out so quickly, but it never happened. So don't believe any artist who tells you the album is coming out, coming out in a month or two. It just it never happens ever. So finally, March 4th, check it out and keep on rocking. This is Gateway Mastering and Bob Ludwig, the master of all mastering, just finished mastering the record, lived the dream, and I feel like I'm living a dream right now. <laughs> and you got all the gold records here. Let's ignore this one. And, um, it's an amazing place. An amazing experience. This is Maxie right there. Say hi, Maxie. Hi. <laughs> My first record I released, you know, maybe four years ago, something like that. It was five. It's ridiculous. I can't believe time flies that, that quickly. Um, had the pleasure of having all kinds of guests on it, like George Lynch and Greg Howe and Mike Mangini and uh, the artwork of uh, Derek Riggs that did all the Iron Maiden um, album covers. Um, and now I'm about time to, it's about time to, for me to um, release my second record, that's all done, I finished it like maybe six months ago, I just didn't get a chance to really focus on the release of that record, um, but I've been working on it for two years, and you know, I'm really happy with the results, so it's about time for me to release it, and just recently I've been on tour with Viva Malmsteen, um, so yeah, I mean, that's uh, pretty much from the top of my head. Uh, I just listened to the first uh, the first track here from, from the album, and I just remember a few months ago sitting in the studio and recording all these tracks, and now I'm in Italy listening to everything all said and done, and, and it's really nice. It's a nice feeling to know that it's all it's all finished. Um, and I, I could tell, I, I overed out so many tracks. I mean, just the the ending of what we listen to I and mean, it has a six string acoustic and a twelve string acoustic and just like a bunch of guitar synth layers that I put down and so many like different rhythm guitars and like you know distorted rhythm guitars and clean guitars and then solo guitar and then harmony there's just so much stuff that was, um, was on there so it, that's part of the reason why it took so long I'm really happy that this is ready. And yeah, hopefully everyone else will be hearing it very soon. Yeah.